Many rural communities in Zimbabwe are spending their productive time in search of water. Women and children walk between 5 and 10 kilometers through dangerous paths just to get water for their daily consumption. The water available is neither safe to drink nor clean enough to wash and bath with. <laughs> This is the situation in rural Zimbabwe where over 2 million people have no access to clean water. The absence of water has led to a situation where communities drink water from unprotected sources like springs, rivers, ponds and open wells, while others simply dig into dry riverbeds to extract water. Angeline has only known one source of drinking water from childhood. Problem in 1985. In some areas, residents go for days without water in the fear of elephants that drink from the same source. Not if I want to take the lack of water has become everybody's concern as children who would normally be in school or enjoying their childhood games are now spending their time searching for water. With funding from various donors, UNICEF is currently implementing wash drought responses, supporting the government's intervention to restore water supply in the country. The interventions include rehabilitation and restoration of non-functional and partially functional piped water schemes as well as boreholes to save over 20,000 water-stressed communities and over 2 million people in rural areas. We rolled out a rehabilitation of 33 piped water schemes, so one per district. The District Water and Sanitation Subcommittees facilitated the rehabilitation activities to be undertaken in the districts. In a demonstration of innovation making a difference even in hard-to-reach communities, solar pumps have been installed to pump water from some rehabilitated boreholes in rural Zimbabwe. The rehabilitation of water in schools has brought new life to most of these children who are now drinking clean water for the first time in their lifetime. Women now have time to embark on income-generating projects and carry out other household chores. So I won't twali sansi, my good as a wimp on pillars, Quaba Lu like him and any suiting and zing at Yami, Amazina toll and Sanyalis, Tatazam, a Sanyalama flowers, Yazuzamans, or what he long is say at Yami, good to lick his lami, you be a connect higher, Kalangan Chonera Wuham, and Fuller and Gupel and Wabawa wounds him a very game over at Jolang Wamban, Umang or Omud. Kadasamas were tatting a pandle way at the Forty-nine existing taps were rehabilitated in this district. The elderly and children are now walking between 10 to 20 meters, where before they used to walk five kilometers to fetch water. Under the rural wash program, it has been noted that a borehole saves a few people while the piped water scheme stretches out to many villages. Piped water schemes is at the apex of safely managed. It reduces drudgery. It reduces time taken and uh, gives people more time taken to collect water and gives people more space in doing other activities um, of economic value. These interventions have greatly transformed the lives of over 3 million people in 32 districts of Zimbabwe.